Hi guys, welcome back to Home with Mrs K. Thank you so much for joining me for one of my shopping haul videos today. I have been to the range and I've also been to Poundlands. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. The sun is out, which you guys can probably see because it's like beaming on my head a little bit and it's just really, really lovely actually. I've opened the shutters, I'm letting all the sunshine come in. I just absolutely love it because we have had nothing but rain ever since the day we first moved in to this new place. So it's really, really nice to see some sunshine, have it beaming through the house. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait for spring. Spring is my absolute favourite season and I'm so excited for spring to come just to have a bit of nice weather, not too hot, not too cold, and go outside, have a lovely walk, all of the flowers are going to start blooming in the garden, we're going to see all the daffodils, oh, I just love spring, it's just so, so nice, Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I got from Poundland and also the range, and you'll be happy to know, because I know so many of you have been asking to see this house, so I'm so sorry that I just haven't been able to put it up yet, but the house is finished, it's completely done, Everything's out, all the furniture's up, we've put all the mirrors up that needed to be put up, pictures, shelves, you name it, it's all done. So I will be bringing you guys a house tour next week. So I'm really, really excited for that. So let's get down to business and show you what I bought from the range first, I think. So I wanted to show you this because I absolutely love it. It's my favourite buy from the range that I'm going to be showing you today. I do have this already, so I have one in my kitchen, but it's different to this one because this one actually has bake on it and my other one just says kitchen so I thought why not get another one this will look really really nice on the opposite side of the kitchen so that's what I did and I love that it's got the little rolling pins I love that it's sort of wooden looking it's going to go really really nice because at the moment I've tried to do like a country cottage kind of style in this new house as much as I can and this is just fitting in so well it's really really nice so it says Bake the world a better place, which I just thought was so freaking cute. I'm literally a sucker for anything cute like this. And it was only 3 99 which I think is really, really good. And it do, does have um, two little slots at the back, so you can hang this up on the wall if you wanted to, or if you didn't want to put holes in the wall, it can easily sort of, you know, balance against something, or you can have it freestanding. But yeah, 3 99 I thought that was a really, really good price. Very, very cheap. I also got this sign as well, which I really, really like. This one is to go, so we, which you guys will see on the house tour, we'll show you all of this stuff that goes up. We've got some um, like double doors that go off the front room into the dining room and there's a little gap above the door. So this is why I got this, just to go above there, which I will show you guys. And it says, this house runs on love, laughter and inappropriate humour, which I thought was absolutely perfect for this house because if it's one thing that happens in this household it's humour there is constant humorous banter in my house always like anyone will tell you any of my friends any of my family that come over there's always yeah inappropriate humour going on we're quite a humorous family so I thought this was absolutely perfect to put in the house and I absolutely love it I can't remember how much it was off the top of my head but I'm sure it was under a five or so really really cheap price and I just thought really really cute love what it says I got another one of my lampshades that I showed you guys absolutely love these lampshades so much so I had to get another one so we've got two in the living room slightly bigger one in the hallway we're trying to get one up in the dining room but we're having a problem getting the old lampshade down um, I've also got one in my bedroom so I went back to get another one because this is going to go on the top landing just so it kind of ties in with the rest of the house I like the idea of having all of the same shades around the house but I just love this I love the lace look of it it's just so pretty really really pretty and especially when the lights on guys it looks so so nice these are priced at 6 99 which again I think is a really really fair price really really good um I got this as well which I was really really chuffed about I think these are new I haven't seen these in the range before I don't know if you guys can see me with that sun beaming in. I do apologise if you can't see much. Um, so yeah, it's a Log Hurricane candle holder. So let me show it to you. So you get like the nice little log piece at the bottom and then you've got this really nice glass bit and then you pop your candle in the middle. I just thought it was really, really nice. And I thought it was really cheap for £5. I really, really did. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to stick it on my coffee table in the front room 
and have a nice either I might have a battery candle I don't really like to burn real candles because I just think it's such a waste of money burning candles so I do like to have my battery one so that is what I'm going to do but how good is that for a fiver especially if you've got like guests coming over you can use it at Christmas time for your centerpieces on the table that would make a really beautiful centerpiece if you were having like a proper rustic wedding five pounds absolutely cheap wedding centerpieces you could put some flowers around it as well that looks so pretty so yeah that was five pounds which i think was really really cheap um i also picked myself up this fairy sponge i do have a lot of cleaning sponges but this one is an extra long one which is really really good so i'm going to be using these for like when i clean outside the house like on the window frames and stuff like that and it's only priced at a pound do you know what guys i'm going to close one of these shutters just where the sun is just beaming in on my face do apologise, I don't know which one it is. Is it that one? There we go, that's better. Um, then I got this box, which I thought was a really, really good price as well. This was priced at £5. Storage boxes can be really, really expensive, but I thought this was nice for a five. Like, it's a nice shape, nice size, and then you got the nice clickable lid on top. It came in three different colours, so you get the blue, pink, and I think it was like a lilac -y purple colour. So I got this one for Jessica's bedroom. So this is to go under her desk to put all of her arts and crafts in. So like paint, paint brushes, pots of glitter, and all that stuff that she's got, Play-Doh. Because it's currently at the moment in our dishwasher, inside the dishwasher. That's where we've been storing all of her art stuff, all of her slime and stuff. So I finally found her a nice box, which is gonna fit really nicely under her desk. So yeah, five pounds for that. Then I found some Christmas bits because bizarrely, for whatever reason, the range still has a lot of their Christmas stuff out. But annoyingly, a lot of it is still full price and I don't really understand that to be honest with you. Some of it was reduced, some of it was like 50% off, 30% off, 70% off, um, and then the rest of it just wasn't even reduced, which I found quite bizarre. But I did get some bits of it, so I'm going to show you. You guys might remember these if you are, you know, returning from watching one of my old videos. You guys might remember these from a haul either last year or the year before. Absolutely love these. Black and white sort of gingham check. They go perfectly with like my rustic kind of brown Christmas. And because I said I'm going to be doing that again this year, I really, really wanted to get some more of these bows. So these were priced at 30 pence. So I bagged two of them. So I'm really excited to have some new bows for my Christmas tree this year. I also picked these up, which were marked down from, I think, £3 down to a pound. So I paid a pound for those. Just two little log wooden slices. But again, I'm not just going to use these for Christmas. I'm also going to be using these around the house. So I'm going to have these out in the front room. I'm going to put candles on top of them. I'm also going to use them for Easter on my Easter table. So... I might put like a little bunny rabbit on top of one with some like little eggs around. But yeah, two of them for a pound, so I thought I'd grab them. And then I also got this as well. So this was priced at six pounds, and then I think it was marked down to two. I think I paid two pounds for that. But isn't it so cute? I really, really love that. That's gonna look so cute with my red Christmassy stuff at Christmas. And of course, it's the gingerbread. You guys know how much I love my gingerbread. But I just love this, and I thought this was very kind of country cottage vibe looking. It's got the nice little red polka dots, and then the nice little brown gingerbread houses. But I thought it was just so, so cute. I thought they looked lovely on the kitchen side this year. Um, I also got these. Now, these are brand new, so these are in the kitchen section. Absolutely love these so, so much. I've got to move it closer so you guys can see the detail on here so you've got like the nice leaves all around and then you've got the nice wooden top which can come off so i think these are supposed to be used for like sugar it's like a sugar caddy um but i'm not really sure what i'm going to put in there to be quite honest with you but i just loved it so i bought it from my kitchen no idea what i'm going to put in there um but yeah i'm going to be using that in the kitchen absolutely love it i think that was three pounds not a hundred percent but i think it was three pounds and then I've got this one, which just matches it as well, exactly the same, but there's no lid on that one. So it's just like the dish kind of version. It says on there, it's like a dip dish to put your dips and things in, but 
I'm going to be using this in the kitchen, so I'm going to put it by the kettle to sort of put all the strained tea bags on. Um, and I did get another one, but for some reason it's not in this bag, so it might be somewhere else. I did get another one for Simon to use as an ashtray. <laughs> Simon is a smoker, he's a smoker in the family. Always smokes outside, but he just got the most hideous, ugliest looking ashtray. So I bought him a really nice, pretty ashtray to use. So I thought that'd be quite nice. And these were priced at $1.99. Really, really, really like those so much. Um, was that everything that I got from the range? No. Seen something else? Oh. Um, I think, yeah, so this is the last thing that I picked up. Again, a Christmas item. It was reduced. 250p so i paid 50p for these guys isn't it cute absolutely lovely i love 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 it love the red car it's gonna look very very christmasy this year i'm thinking about hanging this on my front door like hanging it on a wreath just to kind of make a new christmas wreath for the new door this year so yeah 50p absolute bargain really really happy with that um so now i'm going to show you just a little bits and pieces mainly clothes actually that i bought from Poundland. So I got this for Jessica and this was only, what was this, £4.50, which I think is a really, really good price actually. Because if you go into Primark or Asda, they're like £7, £8. So yeah, £4.50 for this stitch t-shirt. So I'm going to be popping that away in her Easter bag that I'm going to be doing because I'm trying to keep it all kind of stitch related. So yeah, £4.50 for that. Then I picked up Jake some tracksuit bottoms. I didn't find them in Primark, so I went to Poundland and I found them in there, which is really, really good. And they are priced at £5 in Poundland, which is a really, really good price. So I just got him a navy blue pair. I also got him a couple of t-shirts as well. Do you know what? Poundland, Pep and Co. have actually got some really nice clothes in, I'm not going to lie to you. They really, really have. And they're at really, really cheap prices too. So I've got him this t-shirt, which is really, really nice. Just a plain sort of basic t-shirt, but I just love like the nice striped through the middle. And that was five pounds. I'm just literally, as I sort of go around the shops and see like nice t-shirts and things, I'm picking them up and I'm literally gonna put them all away in like a box I've got at the moment under my bed. And then once the summer comes and we go on holiday and stuff, they've got all these nice sort of new clothes and new t-shirts. Um, and then I saw this one, which I thought was really, really nice. Love the brown colour. And I love that it's got New York on it. Jake loves anything that's kind of American as well. He loves New York, loves America. So I thought he'd really, really love that. And it's a nice colour. I think it's a really, really nice colour. And £5 for like t-shirts is just really, really good. So these are in the men's sections, not the kids. Um, so I normally get in like a size small or a size medium, depends sort of how they look. But if you're getting these for grown-ups, for like grown adult men, how good is it? Five pound for like a man's t-shirt? It's just really, really good. Um, and then lastly, this is the last thing I did get in Poundland. So I picked this up for Jessica for her to just stick away. So this was 11 pounds, which I think was really, really good. So you get the leggings and then you also get this nice jumper. I love the colour. I absolutely love the colour of this. Like a turquoisey colour, really really nice and then you've got like the little anime character on the front which she is really getting into at the moment both my kids love anything to do with anime um but she's gonna love this because it is obviously anime she's gonna love the colour and then she's got like a, a boba kind of starbucks drink which she's holding there so yeah she is gonna really really love this actually so i'm gonna stick that away for her as well what else did I buy? Did I buy anything else? Yes, I actually got this bath mat as well, which I actually picked up in b and I know it's not from Asda or Poundland, but I thought as I'm here, I will show this to you guys. So just a nice little grey bath mat, which I had to get for Jake's shower room because he hasn't got one. He's soaking the floor, bless him. But this was only £3.50 and it's actually really, really nice. Really, really soft, really padded, and really, really comfortable. So I've got a nice little grey one to go in his shower room and then lastly i found this as well in the christmas aisle so it says have a holly jolly christmas if you guys can see that very well on the side of it but i loved it i really really did love it so i am going to put this in the bathroom because in our bathroom we've got a really nice long shelf so i'm going to put this in there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy some white bath bombs so that it looks like 
bubbles in the bath. So I'm really, really excited to have this out this year for Christmas. I literally cannot wait to get everything out for Christmas in this new house. I'm really looking forward to it actually. If we're still here, who knows? We might even not be here around Christmas time. The way things are going in this house, honestly, we've had just the worst luck in here, guys. We really, really have. Um, finally got the washing machine fixed. We've had so many problems with the washing machine. We were having no hot water. It was just smelling of mold. I've managed to get all of the mold out of the machine, which personally I shouldn't have had to do, but I ended up doing it anyway. The repair man, he came round. He's fixed the element because that was broken. That's why we had no hot water. So now we're finally getting some hot water. The mold smell is there a tiny bit. It's not their lows, they're just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna keep carrying on washing the machine, but if it doesn't stop the smell, then I'm gonna to have to contact whoever I need to contact to get this changed because the last thing I want is a washing machine to just wash our clothes and have it all smelling moldy. Um, so yeah, it's just been an absolute nightmare. And then once the engineer man came, replaced the element, he pushed the machine back in. I've gone to put a wash on and he hasn't connected the pipe properly underneath the machine. So it's leaked all over the brand new lino. We had to rip up the new lino. We had to literally mop it all, get some dry heat, used to dry the floor, pop the lino back. But it's just been an absolute nightmare to be honest with you. Ever since we've moved in here, we've had nothing but a nightmare. So I'm hoping from now on we're gonna have some more good luck in this house. Um, but it's looking nice, guys. It's looking really, really lovely. And it's now starting to feel like home and it, I never thought I'd say that from leaving the old place because my heart is still with that other place. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd move back to more if I could, but it is starting to feel more homey now. It's starting to feel more like our place, which is really, really nice, actually really, really lovely. And it is a nice house, which you guys will see once you finally see the house tour on next week's video. Um, that is everything that I got from the range and pan -am that I wanted to show you today. I do have another haul coming up. I have a home bargains haul. I've got some nice little Easter bits that I do want to show you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Mwah.